Many people say that uh, cruising the Mekong is actually uh, one of the best trips in the world to make. Uh, we, we, I don't think we could really offer ourselves as judges for the world. We've taken a couple of river cruises, so uh, Europe and, uh, well, all in Europe actually. Um, uh, but we have really enjoyed this, and I must say that it's been outstanding. My name's Granger Avery, and this is my wife Winnie. And we're both from Canada, Western Canada, Vancouver and Port McNeil. It's been a very interesting journey, very interesting indeed. This has been absolutely, really fascinating. The river itself is very interesting. There's all those little rocks that the captain very expertly has to weave his way in and out. And we just saw him just now asking the boys to sound out the river because it uh, gets quite shallow. So uh, that part of it. I would, uh, I'd really like to say that the uh, crew here has been fabulous. Each of the members, there are not very many people that run this, and they're looking after 27 demanding passengers that <laughs> don't really understand the climate. <laughs> uh, but they have been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Thomas, of course, leading. The captains are expert, I can see that. I've been running a boat myself for 40 years, and these captains absolutely know what they're doing. And the uh, crew, uh, and, and Mr. Joy, who's the uh, manager, wonderful people, been really, really helpful, and uh, happy at the same time. Going to the markets, and of course seeing the temples, and the other things, very interesting. The trip is, um, is a mixed trip. There are a majority, I think, of German people, and uh, some Swiss and uh, just ourselves from Canada, uh, English speaking. Although many of the guests do speak some English and some very well. Uh, so um, the, most of the information has been given by Thomas, who's an excellent tour leader uh, in German, but he's made a point of every time coming to us and making sure that we understand what's going on, giving us a version of it uh, ahead of time often. So th that's been really good for this beautiful sandbank, beautiful barbecue and on this very nice, remarkable evening of this wunderschönen Abend hier auf der Sandbank. The barbecue was really interesting. The, the boys had set it up in a big uh, horseshoe shape and there was food in the middle of it and then a huge fire. That was lovely. And then there was some native singing that uh, took place, which was fascinating. And um, then there was uh, a, a few uh, free-for-alls after that. I think I might have actually, uh, under the influence of Lao Lao, I might have had a go at it myself. <laughs> Going through the villages and seeing how the people live in uh, uh, relative isolation, how they have pretty much a subsistence level in some cases, it's been very interesting to see that. And the beauty of the temples and the obvious devotion that the people have to Buddhism and in, I guess in some cases to animism as well. All that is, is really interesting. The landscape, of course, is amazing. <laughs> Not just the river, but the way that the mountains go up and, and then now we're getgetting further south towards uh, Vientiane and it's quite a lot flatter. So the countryside has changed quite a bit. Riding an elephant was really interesting. <laughs> we have done that before in Nepal. Um, and this time we were in a, a howdah as well, so you sit with one other person and the elephant goes. Uh, before we got on the ship, we also were in the elephant camp. So we had individual elephants at that point. So I have my, my Mahout certification, not really. <laughs>